I've got another update and this is about my RODI unit. I finally got it set up onto the wall next to my washing machine and uh, here's my setup. I got this tea I put in here that goes into the cold water. Um, this side's for the washing machine and then I have a cap on here that's for the RODI unit. So let me just unscrew this. Hold on. this thing alright that should be better this wrench sucked all right so I took the cap off and then the input for the RODI unit screws on here and get that tight that should be good and then I have my output um, of like the dirty water into my washing machine and then the output of the pure water into a five gallon jug. And then let me just let this go. All right. And here it goes. That's going in. And then it's working. Um, it's about at like around a little bit below 40 PSI um, so I may need to get a booster pump eventually and um, it takes a long time to fill up so I'll wait about an hour and then I'll come back and check on it and then let me show you the 60 gallon nothing much has changed um, all the chlorine is dissolved you can't smell anything or it's evaporated I guess and um, uh, I've just been planning the 60 gallon build for a while now and in the back here I screwed in this back plate, uh, I got the idea from uh, New York Stilo. Um, if you haven't seen his videos, go check them out. Um, if you own an aquarium, 
saltwater aquarium go watch all of his videos they're very informational so I screwed this backing plate in with about an inch or more of space up here so that I can put my cords out um, and it'll reduce the noise um, right now this will be uh, my sump until I get the aquarium from upstairs down here to be a refugium something and then um, up here I'll get the uh, I'll get a hang on the back refugium the CPR so I, I may have to push the tank a little bit further because there's not much room between the wall um, that's pretty much it for this aquarium down here and then let's go upstairs and check out my 30 gallon into my messy room all right so here it is got my phosphate reactor back there um I had a pretty bad algae problem hair algae lately and that seems to have cleared up for the most part this rock was covered with it um and here's my fish they like being on camera and um you can see a little bit of hair algae still here um, and I used to have three turbo snails. Two of them died. Uh, I don't know why. Um, they just did. And um, I've been noticing some diatoms, a lot of them. It's not too bad. Over here, some cyanobacteria. Um, I thought my phosphate reactor would help, but. Um, the reason why I have these diatoms and cyanobacteria is because I haven't done a water change in a really long time because I've had no salt mix to do a water change with. So that's my problem right there. And yesterday I just ordered the 200 gallon box of reef crystals salt mix and I heard that's pretty good. Um, let's see, yeah, my zoanthids, there's just one of them seems to be like bleaching, this one, and the rest of them look fine. Um, I don't know why just one would start bleaching, I don't know if they just die eventually, I mean, I guess everything's gotta die, so maybe it's just, it's time, and um, um, uh, here's my turbo snail, my last one. I may need to get another one just to have two in here. And then, I don't know what this green thing is. This, well, I'll wait till it focuses. It's like a plant that uh, I'm guessing it's okay. It's not going to take over my aquarium like the hair algae. Um,. So yeah, there's um, a uh, bristle worm that lives in these rocks here. I think he's the only one. There's probably more in my system, but that's the only one I could see usually. Comes out at night. And then my sea star polyps are doing pretty well. They're not fully out because I just turned on the lights not too long ago. And uh, my refugium slash sump mess over here. Um, this is my refugium with some catamorpha. Um, to me, it looks like the cato has grown a lot since I first put it in. Um, I heard about people trimming it um, to remove the phosphates that it collects. I'm not sure if I should do this or not until it like fully takes up the whole like space in here over here. Um, 
So yeah, if anyone can help me with that, and then uh, my output thing here is dripping and making a lot of noise. I have like this micron sock on here. It's, yeah. I mean, you can see it's doing dirty. It's not really doing a great job, but I'll have to get another one of those. And uh, my overflow box is leaking. It always has leaks, so I have this bucket set up here um, to catch it, catch the water dripping down. Um, it's because uh, when I set it up, I drilled two holes in here and used this like epoxy stuff. Um, I guess there was like a small leak, so whatever. I mean, it's holding up not a major leak so my bucket just needs to be dumped every you know, three or four days so that's not a big deal and um, I'm trying to think what else protein skimmer update on this I got some nasty shit in here uh, I think it's working pretty well let me get the light over here Uh, I don't know if it should be darker than that, or if that's a good nasty color. See a better color on that. It looks darker on the top lid than it does here. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's working, so I'm happy. I've had it set up for a long time. and I uh, tested my water. My calcium was a little bit low at like 380 ppm. So I bought some Kalkwasser and I set it up to this with a little drip tube. So then it comes down here and it drips. I have a knot in here to control it so that it drips very slowly. And I don't want to dose a lot of that. So uh, that brought my calcium up to 440 ppm. And I think it can stay around there, that's pretty good, since I don't have many corals, just the zoanthids and sea polyps, or star polyps, whatever. Um, I've noticed a lot more coralline algae growth lately. Um, that's pretty good, and that's pretty much it for this update. Not much to say. Actually, that was a lot to say. And I'm gonna just look at my fish right now. It's my fire fish. And my clown fish. I named him Omen. And my six line wrath. And then my brittle star. And my other brittle star. And my snail. Oh yeah, and um, when I ordered the salt mix, I also ordered some other stuff. Uh, I ordered a refractometer, a uh, TDS meter, um, I ordered some... Alright, let me just finish that update. My memory card was full, so... I was talking about what I ordered, I got the Micron socks, and then um, the TDS meter, the salt, and oh god, I think there was something else I ordered. I ordered Chemi Pure and I ordered Phospho Ban for my reactor to reduce phosphates. And I think that's about it. So thanks for watching and please subscribe and help me out with my aquarium and help me out with my 60 gallon build. I'll put up a more detailed description on what exactly I'm going to do with it, uh, so stay tuned.